If you've tuned into KSAT this month, you've probably noticed a bit of a difference in the guys around the newsroom. They look a bit scruffier. That's because we're joining forces with No Shave November and Movember to raise money for cancer awareness. It's going great so far, but there has been a bit of a complaint. The itchiness of all this new facial hair. Steve Spreester went on a journey this week to find a remedy for all this discomfort. Here's a look at how that went. All right, it's been basically since college, since I grew a beard, and I'm getting to the point where I need to learn how to take care of it and how to get it not to itch. So I need some help. I need a beard Buddha, a beard bro, a beard mentor. So I've come to my friend nice. Steve Newman here, who owns the Friendly Spot and other places around town. And, and look, could I ask for a better beard mentor than this right here? It's coming in a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I think I think you're doing all right. What do you this have? Like my, this is my short beard. So yeah, yeah, this is No Shave Millennium. Beard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so I'm doing No Shave November. All right, starting to get itchy. What's your best advice? Really, the two best devices is one, keep it really clean and keep it moisturized. Okay, we're going on a trek. What should we look for? Something that smells right for you because there's going to be like sandalwood and there'll be lime and coconut and it'll be all over the board. So it's going to be personal preference on that side of things. And I would think, look for something not too heavy, um, something real light that you're going to be able to rub in or look for a light cream or a light oil that you can use and that's, that's going to smell you know, appropriately for you. Anything for the gray? <laughs> no, own it, own it. Own, own it, okay, own all right, own, own it. Yeah. See, that's why he's a beard mentor. <laughs> own it. All right, our next stop is at Dillard's Rolling Oaks Mall and Michelle Brock, who reached out to me with some remedies. And so I said, give me your best beard grooming stuff. And that's Jack Black. It's our top men's selling uh, skincare. Um, and what we what we use for the men's is the beard wash, the beard oil, and the beard lube. Comb it. You always gotta comb your beard. Okay, this is the first time I've yes. ever combed my beard. Yes. Our next stop, Diesel Barber Shop in the Dominion Oaks. I'm gonna get exfoliated. I don't know what that is, but we're gonna find out. This is a vet. A vet's gonna take care of me. She says she has some tips. First tip is fold the collar, apparently. <laughs> I don't know that I've ever been exfoliated in my life, a vet, so. All right, be gentle. Ooh, yeah. How are you doing? Good. So far, so good? Oh, yeah. Right now, I'm thinking Larry Ramirez and Bill Barajas and Dylan Collier are all like, how come Spreester gets the hot towel treatment and the massage? Well, it's because I thought of it. Do <laughs> <laughs> you have any one person in particular that you want to remember or give encouragement to? Or Yeah, whatever? my mother passed away of colon cancer uh, 19 years ago. Uh, so last month so it's a it's a big thing it's for me for us we support uh, um, all forms of fundraisers for it so yeah I would the person I would dedicate it to would be my mother well I am a breast cancer survivor so um, that means a lot to me that's kind of like I, why I reached out um, we have a lot of um, associates here that have gone through cancer so um, we're kind of doing it for everybody you know here in our store that have been going through or has gone through cancer. Me and my cousin were the same age, we're both 34 years old when he passed away. And yeah, it's, it's upsetting. Yeah. So you wanna do something to try to help bring awareness to it and try to help the fight. You wanna to try to do something. So this beard and this effort and this No Shave November for me is mainly for my uncle Terry who has been fighting colon cancer for years now, and as we speak, is in intensive care at the University of Nebraska Medical Center. So, Terry Tuff, Uncle Terry in Iowa, Nebraska, this is for you and for all the people out there who are fighting cancer. You are not alone. I can't be there with you in person, but I am definitely with you in spirit. And Myra, I, I just, the stories that we have from Michelle Brock, breast cancer survivor, 
you know, Yvette Bagley talking about her cousin that passed away, Steve Newman talking about his mom. I mean, that's really what this effort is all about, and we're trying to have fun with it, and yeah. we're trying to get people involved in many different ways, and so, um, I like getting out in the community just talking to people about it. And about we all it. know somebody. We yeah. all know someone who has been affected by cancer, who is fighting cancer, or who's lost their battle to cancer, and this is a way to honor them and to, uh, you know, really to, to, like you said, kind of bolster their efforts and say, we're with you and we're, we're doing all we can uh, just to make people aware that this is something that affects all of us. And I'm, I'm telling you right now, I love the comments. Whether they're bad comments about my beard or good comments about my beard, I love the comments because it means people are paying attention. Um, and, you know, that's how I found Yvette and Michelle. Yeah. Michelle sent a huge care package oh, I remember from seeing Dillard's it. to yes. all the guys and our itchy beards. And so we appreciate <laughs> that. And Yvette reached out and said, you know, this is what you can do or this is what you can do. They did not reach out to be on television and so that's why I'm like okay I'm gonna put them on television <laughs> because just the effort to help out yeah their, their effort deserves that so okay we have to know did any of this stuff help uh you know I'm never gonna complain about the hot towel treatment yeah that was that was awesome and actually all of them I don't know if it's the remedies that are helping more or just the fact that I'm getting farther along in the process <laughs> it's helping. growing it's coming in Yes. Did you comb your beard today? I didn't comb my beard today. Come Actually, I was, I was, I, she gave me a comb. I was going to be combing it, you know, maybe. Use what you learned. Maybe before the night beat. Yes. I, yes. Pamper yeah. yourself before you go on TV. Should I call Steve Newman my beard mentor or beard Buddha? I, I don't like, know which I like one. I like beard Buddha. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, that's what, that's what we're going with. Thank you, Myra. <laughs>